Welcome to In An Instant. My name is Ben, and I am sitting here next to the one, the only, Kyle DePew. Kyle, welcome to the show. Thanks, tell, man. <laughs> tell the viewers who the hell you are. Um, yeah, so my name's Kyle. I'm really glad to be here, by the way, man. Yeah, no, this, is, like, this is very hype. I, I love your channel, and um, oh, thank you. I'm really psyched to, to be sitting with you. Oh, um, so yeah, I, I run Brooklyn Film Camera. I'm the founder of the Brooklyn Film Camera Project, also the New York City Film Lab, which is a fully functioning film lab we now have. We got our start working for the Impossible Project. So back in the day, myself, uh, several other folks who work at Brooklyn Film Camera now used to work for the Impossible Project, who is the you know initiative that saved Polaroid film. So that's what I did for several years. Uh, Brooklyn Film Camera has been a business for five and a half now, and we do a lot of things. Uh, some of them being restoring vintage cameras. Uh, we're Polaroid experts, so we offer full service restoration of vintage Polaroid cameras, which we sell, and we do eight by ten portraits as well. That's been a fairly new thing that we've been doing, but we've been really grooving with that. Yeah, and I really admire what you guys have done with the 8x10 stuff. Lauren and I did one with you guys, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Or even before I started the channel, I was like, this is something we gotta work in at some point, and I'm so honored that you are here right now, and I'm so excited about it. Uh, also with us, we have Daddy, we have Mommy, we have Lauren, we have Nat McPhee shooting this episode for the first time. Very hype about that. So I think we should just get on into it. What do you Let's think? Let's get into it. Yeah, let's shoot some 8x10. Let's freaking do it. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. This is what the fans wanted, Kyle. Oh go. my gosh. Honestly, yeah, it's worth yeah. it for the box. That's my <laughs> current hot box. take. Yeah. The concept here broadly is that we're using the 8x10 format in the way that family portraiture was taken even before Polaroid. Uh, those large format photographs that were the one photo you had of your family. And obviously we're putting our own little spin on it here. We got a motorcycle. We were sort of thinking about what would match you for these photos because we want these to be like preservations of you and mom. Essentially what happened was we were going to bring the motorcycle upstairs into the studio. Yeah. There were some difficult turns. We couldn't quite get it in. No, that's what she said. But we eventually decided to change track and I actually am very excited about what's happened here which is that we found a situation outdoors to shoot in and I'm curious like how often have you even used this camera outside? I've used the camera outside pretty sparingly. Um, certainly never to do a long exposure <laughs> of an automobile of sorts. Yeah. Um, mostly for portraiture is yeah. how we've used it, but uh, this will definitely be an experiment. Yeah. 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 So have a look at okay. the dark side down. It's pretty disorienting, but it looks amazing. Yeah. So of course, like any large format film, this has a dark slide. So we just want to be sure we pull this before we shoot and uh, then we'll be ready to go. So let's do it. Three, two, perfect. This, by the way, is just a big Polaroid camera, essentially. So right. this is a big processing unit. So just like a small Polaroid camera has a roller set. Right. This has a big roller set. And it's the same mechanics apply. So the film is made with three chemical pods that get mushed through here. Right. The chemistry gets spread up the uh, image. So what's the difference between this and the previous 8x10 Polaroids? Difference is that this is integral film. So the film right. we just shot is integral just like all new Polaroid film. Yeah. Whereas the old stuff is peel apart. Peel apart. So you'd come right. out, you know, time it. There's actually a built in timer here um, that you can dial all the way up to, I think, 120 seconds. Uh, we'll be going 90 tonight. Uh, that's sort of we're like. We're going the, 90, dude. We're going 90. We're going 90. So we got our negative. Mm -hmm. This is ready to go. So we're going to load a positive in here. There you go. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. So that wants to sit exactly that way, and you just want to gently push this in until it reaches uh, the edge of the tray there. All right. Right in the grooves there. Yep, nestle in the grooves, my new nestle single. Nestle in the grooves. <laughs> the negative tray wants to flip upside down. Okay. And you want this leader tab to fit in between here. There you go, push it all the way in. Ooh. Feels nice, right? Yeah, yeah. that feels real good. <laughs> go ahead and, so press and hold this white button for about two seconds. Okay, And that, that should right. do the trick. All right, there we go. So the image has just moved through here, yep. through our roller set, okay. into a black chamber in the back where it's now processing. Let's go. <laughs> it's really hype. Yeah. It's a really interesting part of the process. Like, I mean, this was something that you used to have to do more of in photography. And so yeah. like, uh, obviously with digital, that's out the window, but even with just Polaroid cameras, you know, even though it's a little bit more complicated to use than your iPhone, you don't get this component yes. and you don't get the components that you're dealing with in the camera. So yeah. it's actually really cool to be tangibly operating something like this. Yeah. yeah. 
and you don't get the satisfaction of having like your hands literally on the right, process right, the entire right. way, yeah. you know, which is something I like about it as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. The initial use of this film was to, to you know, test your lighting, really, right. in order to shoot you know, sheet film right, afterwards. Right, right. Yeah. So they'd be in the studio with the 8x10 camera shooting sheet, or preparing to shoot sheet yeah, film. Yeah. They'd take some light meter readings, make an exposure, see how it turned out. Once they had it dialed in, they'd say, okay, let's shoot the sheet film. Yeah, it's crazy because that was what people were using peel apart film for on like film sets. It was like yeah. testing lighting. Yes. And it's crazy that this medium is now a medium unto itself. Like yes. not the testing medium, this is photography now. This is the now. medium. This is the medium, <laughs> this is the yeah, medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So very cool. So All let's right. take a peek. Let's no, see how let's we do, do it. Let's do it. My goodness. Oh, it's I love very, it. Very early look. Obviously, this is black and white film, so we want to make sure this is, you know, right. shielded from the light for the first uh, yeah. two, three minutes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, oh shit. That's yeah. pretty cool. Boom. That's pretty damn nice. Oh, yes. That's you, baby. I like that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking good. In front of the bike's in focus, face so is in focus. So, it, as it's developing. Look like Terminator. Yeah. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> So as you can see, I don't ride a motorcycle. Um, I wish that I, th I've ridden electric scooters, but that was about as fast as I went on two wheels. So I am on uh, a bicycle. Ben, so I, I could certainly show you how to ride a motorcycle if you're interested. I actually am interested. Uh, I just don't know if Lauren would be interested in me f doing that. The two key women in my life are <laughs> looking at me considering riding a motorcycle and they're not loving the idea. So we have to respect that. Well, they're but happy to allow me to die. Anyway. They're happy for you to do it. <laughs> I guess the, as long as the wheel can... <laughs> Whoa. All right. There we go. That's it. Good. Looks oh, good. hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's, Got go. It. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Weedem boys. So, there it is. Weedem boys. All right. So go upstairs. Let's go. That's cute. I like that. That's cute. As opposed to just sort of standing there like this. Yeah, I like that. So this one I think would probably benefit from being horizontal. Large format photography with a wide aperture, you get like this much depth of field. So we want your faces to be fairly aligned on the film planes. So this is like the focal plane right here. So just imagine that line coming and being parallel. So you want your eyes to be more or less on the same. Yeah. Three, two. Beautiful. All right. You are free. The positive and negative are separate. Yep, this machine is gonna, you know, put them together. So. All right, there we go. So oh, yeah. one went through. We're gonna give it about 90 seconds to cook, and then we'll take a quick peek. So this Polaroid film is the same chemistry as the black and white film. Same chemistry. Same chemistry. So, so I think what's interesting is a lot of people talk about the film or blame the film for something that may be imperfect about their photo, but it's really the lens. I mean, when you use like an SLR 680 or an SX70, you're seeing a completely different image than off of, you know, plastic lens camera. Yes. And so this is what you can accomplish when the camera is incredible. That's true. Well, that's the benefit of an SX70 for a multitude of reasons. I mean, better lens, it's an SLR. So right. what you see when you look through the viewfinder is yeah. what will reach the film plane. Right. Similar to 8x10 or any large format. Yeah. It's essentially an SLR. What you're seeing on the ground glass is precisely what the film will be seeing as you make that exposure. So. Right. The lens is everything. Not a lot of people yes. realize how important the yes. lens is. What your camera, what your camera is, <laughs> what your camera is, it's ready. What your camera is is just a light box and the lens is like 90% of it. So, oh, yeah. so what I'm saying is use 8x10 for everything. That's what I'm recommending, yeah. So regular Polaroids this? canceled, yeah. only 8x10. Regular Polaroids are gone. 8x10 is clearly <laughs> the way. So let's take a peek. This is the way. All right. Oh, oh yeah. For you guys who shoot black and white, you'll be familiar with how this looks. It looks blue at first. The blue will fade away. Um, that'll take about four to five minutes for the blue to totally fade away. Um, another thing you'll notice is that this has some, we call them divots at the end. So this film is a little old. We're shooting slightly expired black and white Polaroid 8x10 film. When film gets old, the chemistry dries up. 
And just like any size Polaroid, this has three large chemical pods on the back here. This is where the, uh, you know, all the magic lives. And this goes through a big roller set, which mushes it. So this simply ran out of chemistry, which is why we've got these little divots here. But uh, still a sweet image. It's, and it's charming. Yes, you know? it's kind of part of it. It's kind of part of it. So what she's yeah, gonna do true. is, she's wearing black. She's gonna fly that umbrella. Holy shit. Put your hand a little more uh, towards me as opposed to like out to the side. Yeah, a little bit more like that, but slight. There you go, yeah. <laughs> now you look like a comedian, but I like it still. This was the test shot. Let's see what it looks like on eight by 10. Smash cut. Maybe wondering like who are no these people next to me that are talking over me as I'm talking to the camera. Well, that's my mom. <laughs> and this here to my right, well, that's my dad. Together, we're one big happy family taking an 8x10 Polaroid photo and getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> is this the sauce? Is this the big is this the money shot? This looks like the money shot. I, wow! I, I look like a like kind of like a punch drunk boxer. Yeah, yes. you look like a like a like a washed up like boxer. a washed up fighter <laughs> on his last you know fight. Wow! This guy won't give up. <laughs> that looks great. How's, okay. How is this part? Great, and this sounds cool. I know what I was doing earlier. It's and fun. This sounds really cool. So Lauren <laughs> is often appearing on camera, but I want to give you just. Uh, sounding board here. What would you like to say to the fans at home who are love to see you in videos? <laughs> do you <laughs> do you maybe love them? Are you in love with them? I mean, yeah, all of the above. Right, right, uh, right. Eight by ten rules. It does, and we're about That's to why do. We're, here. we're about to do a close up of you. I'll pass my bedtime. Yeah, yeah. It's oh yeah, all... close up. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're doing amazing. All right, let's go ahead and do I, the show. I was not prepared to talk to the fans. <laughs> So it must be kind of hard to focus this, right? I mean, because your field of view is so huge. Right, yeah, you wanna make sure that you get it nice and accurate when you're doing a close-up like this. Yeah. We'll also wanna make sure that we factor in for the bellows, they call it the bellows compensation or something okay. like that, but where there's gonna be, the light needs to travel a whole lot longer, so we'll have to actually add an F-stop to that just to make ah. sure that the enough light gets through to, to meet right, the film. Right, right, right. Oh my gosh. You guys gotta see this. Cut to them seeing it. <laughs> Holy crap. This looks amazing. Lauren, you look great. My birthday's coming up next April, Kyle. <laughs> so you want the, what, what day in April? 28th. 15th. Oh, I knew we so. were April boys. <laughs> you see that you can just tell. This is the gold-plated Polaroid SX70 Alpha 1. Belongs to Kyle Depew. Um, I'm jealous as hell. This is my basic AF SX70, which is, you know, it's got chrome plating, but it's not quite the gorgeous work of, uh, I mean, I could probably just walk out of here. Like right now. <laughs> All right. Boom. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Tiger Woods! Like a chicken Caesar, that's a wrap. <laughs> Zing! Yeah, no, Kyle's loving it. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. All right, guys, that was extremely fun. Kyle, thank you for taking us through that. That yeah, was of course, superb. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we had some interesting experiences with the 8x10. Um, it's, it's so different than shooting a regular Polaroid and is so process oriented. Yes. I mean, do you like yes. that element of it? I love that element of it. <laughs> that's, that's the cool part <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, 8x10. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's super hands on, it takes time, you know, it's, it's slow photography. And I, I like yeah. that a lot, you get a lot of control with it. Right, yeah, absolutely. And you know, I think we captured some pretty indelible moments that are representative of my parents. We got mm -hmm. this amazing tight shot of Lauren. I literally can't stop staring at it. Yeah. And it's not just because it's Lauren, although that's a big part of it, I mean, just the detail that you get of a close-up shot on 8x10, we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a couple wide shots, but when we got in close, it was just bonkers. Yes. And big for business. So, <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, yeah, most importantly, it was big for business. 
Well, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Uh, is there any last words you'd like to give to our wonderful viewers at home? Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps a plug? A plug, I don't know what kind of a plug. Like brooklynfilmcamera.com, they have a website. Oh yeah, check us out. Yeah, we're uh, brooklynfilmcamera.com. Yep. Uh, we restore and sell vintage film cameras. We also sell films, common and rare, make a bunch of accessories and things like that. So uh, check yeah, us out. Yeah, absolutely. And when your next 8x10 studio session is in session, yeah, people should do that because this is like incredible. Yes. All right, folks, thank you for watching In An Instant. Go ahead and place a rock on the pedal of your car and drive it off a cliff onto that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, shoots, tips. Kyle will be back, I'm sure. And all things instant. Bye.